Amanda X. Welcome back to another Comcell Multiphysics tutorial with Cabinda X. Today's tutorial model demonstrates how to compute the pressure loss and initial flow rate in a piping system that's connected to a water tank. We have a total of 105 meters of pipe, we have 60 meters on our lower straight and 30 meters on our upper straight. There is 15 meters of pipe going upwards and the connections are done via two 90 degree elbows. The elevation height of our tank is 25 meters. The water level is 10 meters above the discharge point. The diameter of our pipes are 15 centimeters and the material is galvanized iron. Here is our momentum equation as well as our continuity equation. Within Comsol there are a bunch of friction models and we'll use the charge relation friction model for this particular tutorial. For our boundary conditions, we must consider the pressure, which is taken as the atmospheric pressure at the top water surface within the tank. And due to the water column, we must consider hydrostatic pressure as well. I'll provide this presentation as a PDF document and share the link within the description so you can have access to it. Let's begin by navigating over to our model wizard for space dimension. Let's select a 2D space. Let's navigate down to fluid flow. Expand single phase flow. And select pipe flow. Add. Let's click on study. On the general studies, let's select stationary. Click on done. Let's create our geometry. We'll navigate to the geometry toolbar. We're going to click polygon. For the object type, we're going to change that from solid to open curve. For the coordinates, we're going to leave the data source as table. And we're going to use the coordinates to create our geometry. So our, our initial point will be zero. Enter. And then from zero to 60, so we're okay in 60 here, 60 meters, and we want to stay under X. So we enter 0 for the Y. Enter. If we want to see it, we can just say select build selected. And that's our first polygon. Okay. Now we want to stay under 60. 0.60 right here. And we want to go up 15 meters vertically or on the, the positive Y. So 6015, enter, you can select build selected if you want to see it. Okay. And from 60 and 15, we want to go over 30 meters. So 30 and 60 is 90. So 90. And we're going to start here on the Y. So that will be 15. And enter. And if you want to see it, you can select build selected. And our ball valve will be here. This one, we can just go 90.1 for this one. And we just want to go a little past the ball valve. We don't just want to end it at the, the ball valve. And we stay 15 on the Y. Enter, build selected. And if you want to see that, you can select zoom box right here. Zoom box again right here. And if you want, you can just hold control on the middle mouse button and you can zoom in to the geometry. So our ball valve will be here. And then you just want a piece of pipe coming out just a little further for this application. So zoom to extends. And now let's create our material. So let's navigate to our home toolbar. Let's select add material. Let's expand it in. Let's scroll down to water liquid and let's select add to component. 
Now we can close that. With our material added, let's add the pipe properties. So, model builder, we have pipe flow here. Let's select pipe properties. And where we have pipe shape, so if yours is closed, you can expand it like that. Where we have pipe shape, let's change that to circular. And for the inner diameter, let's change that from 10 to 15 centimeters. And for the flow resistance, we're going to change the surface roughness to galvanize iron right here. So for re resistance, surface roughness, galvanized iron for the friction model. As mentioned in our introduction, there are, there are quite a bit of them inside this pipe flow interface. So we're going to stick with the charge regulation. Okay. Let's set up our boundary conditions. So let's go to the physics toolbar. And let's expand points. And let's select inlet. And for our inlet, let's go down to inlet specification. If you are this close, you expand it. And for the specification, let's choose reservoir. Okay. For the reservoir pressure, let's keep in this equation. So this equation right here, so where we have 101,325 pascals, that represents the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Then we add that by this second part of the equation here. This is the elevation height. This is our gravitational constant. And that's multiplied by our density. Okay. Now let's select points one. So here, I'm gonna select points one. And let's go to the entrance type. So for the entrance type, let's expand that. And let's select rounded. All right. Now let's add our volume force. So we stay within the physics toolbar. Let's expand boundaries. Let's select volume force. We're going to select this boundary this boundary and that boundary so that's one two three and for the volume force we're going to leave the default because we want to go in the negative y direction okay the gravity vector should be pointing in that direction downwards all right now let's think about it for a second and we need to add a number of point features to include the energy losses due to bends and the ball valve. So let's navigate back to our physics toolbar and let's select points. Let's expand points. Let's choose bend under pipe flow. Bend. And for our bend, we need these two points. So one of our elbow will be here and the other one will be here. So that's two and three. Now let's add our valve. So let's go back to our physics toolbar on the points. Let's look for valve. Let's select that. And for our valve, that will be point four. It will be a little bit difficult to select here, not really, but if you feel that you can't, 
how you want to see it properly you can just zoom just a little bit here one more time and then you can use the middle mouse button zoom in and then you can select it or you can come here and just select this add that's another way all right zoom to extends now let's make some adjustments here so we have a globe valve on the valve specification so let's change that to a ball valve all right and let's navigate back to our model builder let's click on pipe flow and we're gonna enable the physics symbol so if you are just close you just expand physics symbols you're gonna end it with that okay if you're not seniors for example if you're not seniors you might have to select select all right here okay and make sure this is enabled so we have a bend here a bend here and our ball valve here now let's complete our study so before we do that we need to navigate to the study toolbar and let's select show default solver okay so let's expand solution let's select stationary solver and let's key in one to the e minus six right there for the related tolerance and let's click compute okay make sure you save your project i've saved mine already now let's navigate down to our velocity let's expand that we'll come back to pressure in a while let's expand our line let's select color expression let's come here by expression let's select replace expression and on the component one on the pipe flow let's scroll down and we're going to look for our Reynolds number minus one so we can double click on that okay and for the title let's expand that and let's just choose automatic and we can hit plot also i am not a fan of the types of arrows and the, and the color so let's go back up to our line and i'm going to change that from arrow to our head and let's key in 20 for the number of arrows let's hit plot and let's increase the size the scale factor you can select this box and let's increase the size to approximately 2.5 so let's go back to our color expression and let's just change this color here to maybe let's see how cyclic looks that looks fine for for me click ok as you can see here the Reynolds number produces a value of 4.47 times 10 to the fifth and this indicates that the flow is well within the turbulent regime so if we now go back to replace expression and navigate down to our pipe flow and under that let's select velocity magnitude double click on that plot we can see that the fluid velocity is constant at approximately 3 meters per second also the arrows represents the direction of the flow 
Now let's navigate to our pressure results. And this result shows us the pressure drop across the pipe system. Let's take a look at the maximum and the minimum values. So we can see here is our maximum value and that's over 342,000 pascals. And as we pass the first bend, we can see that the pressure started to drop significantly. And as it passes the second bend on the upper pipe straight, you can see our value drop to just over 100,000 pascals. Good